Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Every once in a while I pick up something just to see how well it works. Also because the price is right. I got this down at Burgess Antiques. Go figure, right? I get a lot of stuff down there because they're only six miles down the road. It's a Black & Decker drill bit sharpener. Now you know I've sharpened most of my drill bits by hand. With a gauge to tell me when I'm off the mark, I can get pretty close. Perhaps not as good as a do-all, but I do a real good job. I can make a drill bit drill exactly to the size of the hole. That's kind of rare. So let's see how well this one does in comparison. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen some drill bits, then I'm going to check them on the gauge, and so we'll see how they work. Cord appears to be in good shape. Now I went online and looked up how to run the thing. This is a control for telling you how much relief you're going to get. If I turn it to the right, that gets me more relief. If I turn it to the left, it gives me less. I'm going to start out with it right in the middle just to see what happens. Now this can only sharpen a certain range of drill bits. To give me an idea of what it's doing to the drill bits, I'm going to go through and put some dicum on the tips of all these drill bits. Just enough so I can see a mark. I hadn't bought any of this dicum in a long, long time. Finally broke down and bought a bottle. I wanted to use it to touch the tips of the saw blades. I was using a felt tip marker and it worked okay but it was kind of a pain in the butt. Nice thing about Dicom, it dries quickly. You can also wash it off with alcohol. Okay we're going to start with this drill bit. Point is centered on it. The relief angles are good. It's got a little frost on the edge. Bring it back to this hole where it just, you want to bring it into the hole where it just fits. Then I'm going to mark this side. That way I'll know which side I'm working on and I'm not going to be hitting the same one twice thinking I'm going around to the other one. That's pretty good. It's not quite to the center yet but I want to touch the other side before I go after it. I put the black mark on the up towards the outside. Black mark towards the outside. I like to check it with a magnifying glass just because my eyes aren't what they used to be. Well, it's cutting the edge. The, the center point hasn't been ground yet, so I'm going to take it down a little bit further.
getting real close. This isn't designed to change the angle of the drill bit, it's designed to sharpen it. And since these angles aren't exactly what this machine likes to have, it's making them what, the, what it wants. It exactly matches the drill bit gauge. Okay, it's sharpened all the way out to the edge. Point is centered. The angle is correct. Looks like the grinder worked as a pretty good jig to keep the, the settings the way they should be. Now let's see how it drills. Using this piece of railroad spike because it's handy and it has no value. I'm not drilling a pilot hole. I'm just going to start right out with the full size bit. Doing a nice job of drilling. Now that bit's pretty good size to start a hole with. Since we had good luck with a large bit, which I chose mostly because you'd be able to see it pretty well. Let's try something that's a little bit harder to sharpen by hand. We'll take this small bit and see if we can't get it to sharpen that. Hmm, sharpened it backwards. That's not good. Had it set for little relief, or as small a relief as I could get. And actually sharpened the bit with the relief angle going the wrong direction. Did cut it quick though. I would expect that with a smaller bit. There's not as much material to remove. Without thinking about it, I had set the relief for minimum, thinking that with the larger bit I had tried, it uh, needed that in order to cut correctly. Well, this small bit is further out on the wheel, so it's in a different area and it has a different angle.
and set the relief just a little bit further and touch it again. The angle on the point is just a little bit off. But I'm lined right up with the two mark on there, on that side, and I'm just a little bit past it when I set it on this side. So that means I want to take off this face just a little bit. Now this cuts pretty fast on this small bit, so I don't want to go on it too hard because I'll be chasing it back and forth all over the place. Put a piece of white paper behind it and it's easier for me to see the measurements. Now we're even. Not a whole lot of relief angle on there, but there is some. Let's chuck it up and see how it does. Pretty slow. I don't think it's got enough relief angle. I think it's rubbing. That's as much relief angle as I can get out of this little grinder. So I'm going to touch, touch this up with a big wheel. Yep, definitely had a problem with the leaf angle. Much better.
Now this drill is actually a little too slow for that drill bit. But I wanted to put a pilot hole in there. That's the first hole that I drilled right there. That's the second one. I pushed that one all the way through after I sharpened it by hand. This is the second hole I drilled all the way through. So I'm going to take this first hole and use it as a pilot on this one. This is the first bit that we sharpened with the Black & Decker drill bit sharpener. It actually works pretty good. It doesn't do well without a pilot because it does have a broad point on the end of it. It, it doesn't have a split point. But once I hit a pilot hole so I wasn't using that point, it blew right through it. So this can work but it's got a problem with small bits. Let's see exactly what that problem is. It drilled right through the shank of that 5 8 railroad spike without any problem at all once I got the relief angle set on the small bit. Then with the pilot hole the big bit went right through it also. So there's some kind of an issue with the relief on this. In part two maybe we can actually do something with this thing. You never know till we try. If you have any suggestions for a new video Questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.